Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela. Here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, and particularly for the woman over 40. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that some weeks, I get all of my outfits together. I get them hung up. I have the shoes, the shirt, the pants. I even put the accessories in the little bin so I know exactly what I'm gonna wear for that week. If I know I'm gonna have an extremely busy week, that is something I definitely do. And the next week, is gonna be very, very busy for me. I'm gonna be going out of town. If you've seen my, well, if you've been here for a while, you've seen my my sister friend, Ronnie. Ronnie I met in Saudi, but we ended up finding out we grew up probably five miles from one another in, in Greensboro. She's coming over from Saudi. She's actually already in Florida. And she is going to a wedding in Punta Cana, and I decided I want to see her again, so I'm gonna meet her there. So we're gonna have like a girls thing. It's gonna be fabulous, so. I am going to be very busy because I need to get my home together before I leave and I need to get my stuff packed. I'll probably do a video on what I'm going to take with me as well, but I need to make certain that I know what I'm going to be wearing every day. So I don't have to think about it. I need to get videos shot so that while I'm gone, I can still have my videos uploading on Sunday and Thursday. So that means I need to film five videos within the next week. And I normally only film one or no one, two to three videos a week, but Nonetheless, it's gonna be a very busy week. So I am getting all of my outfits together for next week. And it's cold and rainy here in Texas. I don't know what mother nature is doing. She gave us a little, it was cold. Then she gave us a few days of spring. We were out there with the shorts and the tank tops on. Happy because it's been a cold winter. Then she backed up. She dropped the temperature back down to like 65. Then she gave us a few more days and over the last, week and a half and i know it rains a lot in april and i don't mind the rain but you're gonna give me rain and cold mother nature somebody needs to get together and send her a, a cease and desist order on, on winter weather we'll we'll take the rain but can you give us some heat and some sunshine ma'am okay anyway so my entire wardrobe for next week is going to be based on it's going to be cold or cool and rainy it's just going to be gloomy outside if you like to see, after all that rant, what I'm gonna be wearing next week, then stay tuned. Now, let's get started. So this is my outfit of the day. This shirt is old, it's from Zara. I've probably had it about three years. I love, when I tell you I love, love, love me a one shoulder moment, I just think it's so, Guess who's staring at me? Who just who just came home? Come on, say come say hey, honey. You're so pretty. <laughs> just, just standing back there staring at me. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> you see her? <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> see, I can you know maybe lose my whole train of thought. Look at me like that. Watch out now. <laughs> okay, uh, look where was I at? This shirt, okay, this shirt is old from Zara. And I love shirts like this. I love me at one sleeve. I will always love it. And, and, and in black, they're just fabulous. They're gonna always look great. You can wear a shirt like this with a skirt, with a pair of jeans, with a pair of shorts. You can dress it up for a date night. You can dress it down with some shorts and, and, a, and a pair of sneakers or some sandals. I just love them. And these jeans, these jeans have become my favorite. I bought these from Express and I put them on and I love the way they look on me. Listen, she, she, she as in me don't have that much hip, but you can't, <laughs> you can't tell me I don't have no hip in these pants. See that? And, and she only has this much booty meat. But she got booty meat in these pants, so I went back and bought another pair. As a matter of fact, I may go back and buy a third pair. I like them that much. I'll be wearing these all the time. These will definitely replace, replace my Levi skinny jeans because, you know, the skinny jeans is not on trend as it was, but I still do wear them. But I just, I love this. I love these pants. So I probably will get a third pair because they have a slit on the inside, as you can see and I will sew the slit up. So it'll just give it a little different look, but I love these pants. They're from Express. The shoes are from 
Amazon, nice chunky heel with a snake print on them. They come in various colors. And the belt is um, Ferragamo. I've had this for quite some time. I love it, I really do. And my scent of the day, I chose it because the weather, again, is gloomy and cloudy and it's been raining for several days and it's supposed to rain for several more days. Is Oud Set Mood by Maison Francis Kirkdijon. This perfume is perfect for this weather. This perfume is soft and warm. It's like a cup of hot chocolate with a little extra in the hot chocolate, a little brandy, a little color or something in the hot chocolate sitting by the fireplace. That's kind of what this is like. Or you get in the bed in the wintertime, you have a nice down comforter and it's nice and warm. Well, I have an electric blanket a bunch of my down comforter, but that warmth you feel when you get in, this is kind of, this is the feeling you get from this perfume. I love it. If you don't like a powdery note, you won't like this at all. You won't like it. And the lasting powder, this perfume, I know Baccarat Rouge 540 lasts a long time, but I think this perfume lasts longer than any perfume in my collection. I love it. It's feminine, but it's heavy. Um, the name is perfect, describes it perfectly. Oud, satin, mood, because it does have a lot of oud in it, so it's a heavy scent. But the satin, because it's silky, it's smooth, and it just puts you in the mood. It's just, just not that kind of mood, but it just puts you in a mood of warmth and comfort. And that's why I chose it for today. So this is look number one. All of my looks are neutral because it's gloomy outside, it's rainy, it's dreary, it's cool. And I just really didn't want any bright colors. I just wasn't feeling the bright colors for the week. So I'm gonna do neutral. And once the sun starts shining and it gets bright, I'm gonna pull out my pops of color. But this is look number one. I made certain that I have something covered. My arms are covered here. That way I stay warm and cool all at the same time. I'm cool because my legs are out, but I'm gonna be warm because my arms are covered and I have on a knit, even though it's a thin knit for spring. I can wear it in the winter, but it is a thinner knit. That way I don't get overheated. But I have my cute little Celine purse. This is a V-neck sweater. I think I purchased this from j crew last year i love these sweaters they're really really nice it's comfortable it's cool but warm all at the same time i like to have my sleeves up just feels just feels more natural to have them up than than to have them down especially when the weather is a little warmer outside i paired it with these cream i think these are boucle type shorts they look so so pretty and my Angela Scott, Office of Angela Scott shoes. I love these shoes. I really keep saying I need to get me another pair of these brogues, but they are so, so comfortable. And this pair, I don't think they sell this particular pair anymore, but they have some similar to it with different colors, neutral colors. They have all kinds of colors on that website, but I love, love her shoes. The quality is outstanding. But this is look number one with my cream, tan, and brown. My jewelry is gold and I have pearls on the earrings. So it plays with the cream of the pants and just a very easy, comfortable outfit. If it's really cool outside, I can throw a blazer on top of this, a tan blazer, whether it's the same color as a sweater or not, it's still gonna go really, really well together. It's gonna blend in with the concept, the color concept of the outfit. So this is look number two. This is so, so comfortable and something most of you may have in your wardrobe, whether it be a long denim skirt this long or just a denim skirt would definitely do. But this is a, a denim shirt as well. It has buttons on the front. Instead of wearing it as a shirt, I'm just wearing it as a, like a cardigan on top of a tank top in case I get really, really hot. Or if the weather starts heating up in the middle of the day around noon, one o'clock, you know, the weather is at its warmest. And that way I can take this off and still have on my tank top and still be comfortable. I have uh, silver accessories. My watch has silver and gold on it and my uh, Hermes bracelet is silver. And I paired it with my vintage Fendi purse, which has the silver accessories. <laughs> my necklace stuck to the magnet on my microphone. I put on the silver necklace and these cute little button earrings that I got from Shein. I'm sure these earrings were under $10. I'll link them below, but they're really, really cute. I'm very pleased with them. But this is look number two. I also have on my New Balance black sneakers with the white sole, but the bottom is like the um, bubble gum 
color, I think they call it, but this is so comfortable. I can wear this all day long. And even though I have my arms and my legs covered, I have on a skirt. So that kind is kind of covered, but it's not. It's letting air in, but it's keeping air off. It's just a combination of the two. And I can take the shirt off. That way I can be warm when I need to be warm and I can be a little cooler when it needs to be cool. And these sneakers are just fabulous. They're fabulous, but this is a very, very cute, comfortable look, and I'm gonna enjoy wearing this. So this is the next look, and as you can see, yes, my legs are uncovered, and I have on a knit vest, but it's sleeveless, so I decided to throw on this blazer on top of it. I love, love this color combination. I have on some really cute slide-in mules. Let me show them to you. Oh, I, I gotta take that look. I didn't even know that was on there. Anyway, this is what they look like. Nice chunky heel, nice wide band across the toe and it has this snake print. Got these from Amazon. But they're very, very comfortable. So they add a little pizzazz to the outfit because the outfit is very neutral. So I love the print on the shoe. And this is my Gucci purse. So it has a little print on the purse. The vest has some texture, even though it's the same color as the shorts. It's funny how this, this vest came from Banana Republic, the belt from Express, and I think the shorts are from Gap, I think, I can't remember, but they're from three different stores and the exact same color. But anyway, this is uh, the next outfit. This blazer, of course, is gonna be nice and comfortable. It is a wool blend blazer, but it's a thinner fabric, so it's gonna be very, very warm when I walk out of the door in the morning. And when noon comes around, I can take it off and just throw it on my shoulder or take it off all together and have on this sleeveless vest and still look really cute and put together. I love this belt. It has a little gold uh, detail on the top of it. Looks very, very much like a Valentino purse. Valentino has this design here, but it is from Express and it is reversible. It has this cream color on this side and it's black on the other side. That's why I purchased it for the cream color, but I love it. But this is a great outfit. I can wear this to lunch, lunch date, or if I'm just going out shopping. These shoes are comfortable enough that I can walk around the mall if I needed to, or just walk from one shopping center to another. But there's no but. <laughs> this again is outfit number three. So this is the next look and definitely my favorite. You all know I love black, it's my favorite color, but a black and white moment will always be on my go-to list. And I decided to put this look together because I'm going out of town next week, I'll tell you all about that later. I'm going out of town um, with, I'm gonna meet Ronnie in Punta Cana. We're going to a wedding, so I'm excited about that. But I wanted to go out to dinner with my husband before I leave and I wanted something cute but comfortable and so I put this look together and I love a feminine masculine look and I think this is a feminine masculine look because the jeans are jeaning but they're skinny jeans yes they are and these jeans are from Good American they're one of my favorite jeans I put on the black belt I wanted to wear all silver hardware and a black blazer this bag isn't it fab this is from Amazon this bag is from Amazon. The shoes are from Zara, they're clear, so my legs just look long. It's not taken away from the outfit. I have on my favorite t-shirt from Gap, but this is just a very cute, elevated outfit. It's casual, but not casual, but it's very, very comfortable and just something that I could dress up and dress down. Now, I know a lot of people do not like to wear white. I have no problem with it. I did have a pair of Good American jeans that I spilled something on, which hurt my feelings a lot because it did not come out and these jeans are not cheap, but I still, I still love them. I have to have them. Now, if I wanted to dress this look down, I could definitely put on some flats or I could put on some sneakers. I could take the blazer off and do a denim jacket with some flats, a denim jacket with some sneakers and really make it a true casual look. But I wanted something a little dressy, a little more elevated, but still very, very comfortable. And this definitely fits the bill. The jacket is fabulous. I love the way it goes in. The jeans are, look, <laughs> they're very, very stretchy, so they're very, very comfortable. But this, is the next look. Ah. <laughs> I love this. Put this back. 
take these off, put these back right here. This is the final look. Is it all black? Yes, it is. It's my favorite color, but this is so cute. This, this all black look has so many style elements. I love it. First, it has the faux leather because it's a little cool outside, but because my arms are covered, my pants are covered, I put on a bodysuit, as you can see here, so I can take this jacket off and be just as comfortable as I can want to be if it gets warm outside. I also have on these dress pants. I have several pairs of black dress slacks and I have them tailored depending on how I plan on styling them. So most of my dress slacks are cut a little bit longer so that I can wear like two and a half, three, no, not two and a half, let's be clear, three and a half inch heels with them. But these I had cut so I could wear some sneakers or some flat shoes. As you can see, they're still right at the top of my shoes. Not the top, I'm almost at the bottom of my shoe. You can still see some of the, um, you can still see some of the bottom of the shoe, but they're really, really nice length and they work really perfect for this outfit. This is so pretty. All the silver on the jacket adds a little pizzazz to the black, so it's just not bland. I have my YSL purse with the matte black on black hardware. This is so pretty. You can see the bottom of the shoe, isn't that nice? But I just wanted something comfortable. I love the juxtaposition of the casual jacket with the dresser or slacks. These are definitely dress slacks. They're very, very comfortable too. But I love this look. And again, it fits right in well <laughs> with this cool weather, with this cool, dreary weather. This is gonna be perfect. If I run out and I get caught in the rain, I'm gonna be definitely okay with this outfit. I don't have to worry about my shoes. I don't have to worry about my pants or my jacket. This is appropriate for the weather outside. Well, that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I, I really do, and I hope I inspired you with some of those looks, some of the pieces. I'm sure some of the pieces you have in your closet, and even if you don't have that particular piece, maybe it'll inspire you to put together something similar to shop your closet for looks for your week. Now, no matter where you are, I want you to have a blessed day. I want you to know that you are important. I want to truly encourage you. I want to say a positive, speak a positive word into your life. Um, and I say that because I was watching, um, what is his name? Why does his name slip in my, Jordan Peterson and, uh, one of his videos and he was saying how people walk up to him and tell him they were living their life sometime and they, they never got encouragement from anyone. So today I want to encourage you. I want to breathe life and happiness and joy into you and know that I appreciate you, know that you are meant to be. And I again, want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.